In this problem, we have to find parametric equations and symmetric equations for a line that passes through the point negative 2, 4, 6, and that is parallel to this line here uh, given by symmetric equations. So we have to enter the parametric equations and then pick the correct choice for the symmetric. So let's go ahead and work through it. So the formula for the parametric equations is the following. That's x equals x naught or x sub zero plus at. Sometimes people use uh, x one, it doesn't really matter. y equals y naught plus bt and z equals z naught plus ct. So x naught, y naught, z naught is a point on our line. So we already have that in this problem, which is really convenient. And then a, b, c, those are called direction numbers. So the vector a, b, c is called the direction vector. This vector is parallel to our line, so we need to find this. So we're told in this problem that our line is parallel to this line. But this line has this number here, this is a, this number here, this is b, and there's an invisible one here, this is c. So whenever you have symmetric equations, they have this form, and a, b, c are the direction numbers for this line. So the vector a, b, c for this line is 2, negative 4, 1. However, our line is parallel to this line, so it's the same for our line. So we get to just use these numbers for our line as well. So our a is going to be 2, our b is going to be negative 4, and our c is going to be 1. And this is because our line is parallel to this line here. Okay, so we just plug everything in. So let me go ahead and rewrite this. So x would be negative 2 plus, and then I guess it would be 2t, because a is 2. Whoops, 2t. And then y would be, uh, y not would be 4, and b is negative 4, so minus 4t. And then uh, z would be equal to z naught, so z naught is 6, and our c is 1, so just uh, t, I suppose. So these would be our parametric equations. Again, we're looking for our line, so we need a point and a parallel vector. The point is given, so we have that, and we're told that our line is parallel to this line here. So this line has direction vector 2, negative 4, 1. That means that 2, negative 4, 1 is parallel to this line. Our line is parallel to this line, therefore we get to use the same direction vector. To find the symmetric equation, there's a formula. The formula is the following. It's x minus x naught over a equals y minus y naught over b equals z minus z naught over c. So we could just plug in everything we have. Uh, let me go ahead and scroll back up. Oh, I guess it's here, negative 2, 4, 6. So our point was this. So it would be x minus negative 2, so x plus 2. And our a was 2 equals y minus 4. And our b was negative 4. And z minus 4 not, not z, mi z minus 6, I almost messed up. What I did was I looked at this up here, and that's wrong, right? You want to look at this. This is your z naught, y naught, x naught. Really easy to mess up. Um, you'll notice that that's not one of the choices in this homework problem. So we need to think about it carefully and figure out why. Well, oh, actually, it, it no, it, it's not this one. It looks like it is this one. And the reason it looks different is because they didn't write the one in the homework problem, so slightly different. Sometimes in these problems, um, what they'll do is they'll multiply by stuff. So for example, I can multiply everything by four. Let me just do that just to show you. And they'll do stuff like this, two x plus two, uh, negative y minus four equals four. So this would be an equivalent answer. You're allowed to multiply the equation by anything you like. And a lot of times uh, in the homework, they, um, they tend to do that. So if you're working one of these problems out and you don't see your answer here, um, just try to manipulate your answer to make it look like one of the choices, and you should be able to do that. That's it.